City Line. We're putting viral wellness gadgets to the test. Oh my god, I look so cool. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I like, it just makes you look better. It Maybe we should does. just walk around with it. <laughs> they look cool, but do they work? So you can be as hot and as hard as you want it and... Oh. <laughs> ben, eclectic doesn't mean random. It's not just about everything goes. There is some intention. You want it to look like there's some intention. You want it to feel harmonious. How to make your space uniquely yours. I think absolutely it is about bringing your personality to your space, which we all want to do. And later, to recover or to reupholster. I like changing things, but I yes. don't want to revert. Right. So with the recovering, <laughs> you could just put the fabric on. You don't even have to replace anything. It's City Life with Tracy Moore. Welcome to City Line. To start things off, I'm actually going to ask that we bring the lights down low. Okay, there's a reason for all of this, and it's not to get all romantic. Let's welcome Shona Jensen and Leanna Lair Perot. Oh, oh! Because we are talking about the viral wellness trend, yes, red light therapy. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is trending. I don't know anything about it, so I'm going to be watching this oh. this segment. So the yeah. first thing I really want to know is, for you've been testing products yep. uh, for a month, yes. mm -hmm. for a full month. Mm -hmm. Shona, what is this all about? Okay, so the red light, yes, it's viral right now, but it's it's bigger than that. It's legit emit therapy. It is uh, it is approved across all different types of care. So okay. whether it's a uh, holistic care or wellness care or, you know, like uh, we'll call them alternative, although I don't know yeah. is that alternative anymore. I love all of that stuff. And but even traditional medicine, they hospitals, they firmly believe in red light therapy. Okay. Now, really, really basic. There's two different kinds of red light therapy. Okay. There's red red light therapy, yes. which really basically takes care of the topical stuff. So, you know, those masks that are people are wearing mm -hmm. and things like that. So that is red light therapy. So okay. that's the things that was going to help you with skin conditions, really good for uh, for acne, really good for uh, uh, eczema, for yeah. things like that, those type of things. Really good for wrinkles. Okay, yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I will get to that. Yeah. Things like that. So you're, you're, yeah. it'll take care of that. Then there's infrared. Okay. And infrared goes deeper. We're going into cellular levels. So that right. is, which sounds like maybe a little bit scary, but it's not. It's just going to repair cells, take away inflammation. So old injuries, uh, chronic inflammation, uh, just temporary inflammation, things like that. Yeah. So that's the difference kind of really, really basic entry level. That's the basic difference between the two red lights. Okay, yes. so th so these are going to do all sorts of uh, mm -hmm. mir miraculous mm -hmm. things externally <laughs> or internally. Right. Oh my God, I look so cool. Look at right. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like, it just makes you look better. It Maybe we should just does. walk around with it. <laughs> um, what you've done is you've tried products. You're actually going to judge them as either a good buy mm -hmm. or goodbye. goodbye. Okay, so it's yeah. one or the other. Yes. So let's get started right away yes. on this guy, this cat Light. So this How is the Cala Mini, yeah. and I have been trying this for maybe like a month and a half, I would say. Okay. I don't really have any like chronic pain or anything that I was treating, but I do have hormonal acne mm -hmm. and eczema this time okay. of year especially. So I thought, you know what, like maybe it's wooey, maybe it's not, let's just give it a try and see what happens. So yeah. I will make no claims, but I will tell you anecdotally, I have not ha had a hormonal acne flare up since I've been using it at all. At all. And my eczema is almost vanished, but this one little spot, see the one little spot uh, right yeah. there? Yeah. It was like all up over my eyebrow. So I am all for mm -hmm. this. How mm -hmm. I use it is quite literally just holding it about six inches away from my face. Mm -hmm. And you, if there's a timer on it, yeah. this is the mini, but you can get large panels as well from Cala, Canadian company. Okay. And I was using it at nighttime because I thought, oh, it'll be more concentrated in the dark yeah and then I've come to find that no it works in daylight too it's just as long as you're concentrating it on the skin uh -huh. I will add a little asterisk yeah totally safe for your eyes however if it's uncomfortable and for mm -hmm. me I find it awfully bright even mm -hmm. with my eyes closed so I'm gonna get myself some of those little like tanning bed goggles mm -hmm. yeah. to yeah, yeah. put on and just lie down but this is me for 10 minutes with some meditation music playing oh. 
that's literally you know, how you use this it. Is it. Yeah. This is it. This is it. So you minutes. hold so it on your face or whatever your problem area is for about 10 minutes. That's mm -hmm. it. Does your arm start to shake? No, like, is it get to be a bit it, You put it on, I put it on my desk sometimes mm -hmm. and like okay. prop it on an angle mm -hmm. so I can be working while it's on. All do right. a little neck, get rid of those neck lines and wrinkles. Like, it's yeah. going to do all that. Well, here's hoping, yeah. Tracy Moore. <laughs> yeah. I'm here for it to try. Okay, well, have you tried it, I tried it and I will say that I found it too bright. Okay. So without question, I would have to have, my eyes are already sensitive to the light. Got it. And so I liked it, but I, without question, wouldn't do it again without sunglasses. So if you already know that you're uh, sensitive, sensitive yeah. to that, right. th I, it, was, it was too strong for me with that. But otherwise, yeah, it was great. Well, Easy to I, use. Very I portable. I want to hear what your judgment Bible. is then. Is this a goodbye or goodbye? This is a goodbye for me. It's a goodbye? I think it's a goodbye. This is a... Goodbye. <laughs> I'm gonna go goodbye with caution. You gave it one yeah. thumb. I'm giving Why it one that? thumb. Only it's because. because the yeah, I found it too bright. That okay. was my reason right. for giving it the one thumb. It was just a little too intense. I think I'd prefer if I'm doing it on my face, one of the ones with the eyes cut out. Fair enough. Yes. We're actually yes. going to give one of these away on our Instagram. So that's at CityLine. Um, so make sure you go there to check it out because we want you all to try it as well. Yeah. Okay, next up, what have you got? Okay, we're going to stick with more of the red light, infrared red light. And uh, this one is also PEMF, which is a magnetic. It's okay. by... Heath Heat Healer. Okay. And this is their belt. They have two different uh, things. Before what? you go any further, okay. who's thinking of Randy Rocho Man Sound? <laughs> 100%. Ah, it looks right. like a wrestling <laughs> belt. Yeah. Yeah. Right? My, Craig and I, my husband and I, I were walking around around totally <laughs> doing that. But I was more on the Hulk Hogan team okay. than the Randy yeah, Macho yeah. Man. But yes, yes. I was yeah. about Randy yeah. Macho Man Savage and Elizabeth. I was in. I was in. <laughs> Elizabeth, what a love story. Yes. But then not. Well, we're dating ourselves. <laughs> anyway, back to the heat healer. So, uh, so this is, we've got red, we've got infrared, we've got the magnetic. Here's what's so great about this, what I liked about it, is because it's a belt, it's very user friendly when it comes to problem areas. So you, okay. it's Velcro on the side. So I personally, like my experience with it, I have a long time back problem yeah. from teenage years. Okay. And it started flaring up lately and I'm constantly nagged by it or pain. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I'm gonna wonder if that can heal that because that's one of the things that infrared heat does. It's healing your cells, right? Mm -hmm. It's healing injuries, right. it's healing. And I thought if it can solve this, so I tried it just wrapped it around my lower back, watched the TV. I put it on for an hour. The heat healer products also heat up optionally. That's so nice. it was also warm, which is cozy. I like that. Yeah. Um, it just feels comfortable. I got up to get a cup of tea and I didn't even realize it. I came back and I was like, wait a second. I don't have any pain. Just like it was totally, yeah. Kitchen, yeah. Like, I was like 12 again. Are you kidding no. me? Yeah, and after that one time. Now it did come back the next day because, but that was only after one use. Right, Immediately yeah. the pain was gone. And so the Greg was like, well, would that help work on my shoulder? And he had the same experience. One thing, and he found a wow. big difference in his shoulder pain. This wow. is interesting so, because your husband is like my husband in that they don't believe any of right. this. Yeah, woo -woo totally. them, it's right? too yeah. woo-woo. Yeah, so the fact that he bought in, he tried it, and then yeah. he felt the difference, yeah. I'm starting to be convinced. Yes, yeah. And yeah. then what I also love that Heat Healer has done, they've done their blanket. So what this is down here is a full body Get in. Therapy. Get in. <laughs> get in. 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 Get but yeah. this is also heats up and it's a sauna blanket. Oh. So you're getting the benefits of a sauna, you're getting the benefits of the red, yeah. and while you're there, you can meditate or take a load off or whatever you'd like. Oh my gosh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Hopefully she wasn't up next because she's busy. <laughs> yeah, she was, so we'll skip. Yeah. Okay. I was just saying, <laughs> anyone want to see us? Do you want to talk lovely. about the hand oh. massager now? I, you know I do. Okay. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm coming yeah. for you. So first of all, before we get there, is that belt a goodbye or a goodbye? Absolutely, good buy. It's a good Excellent. buy yeah, yeah. for Shona and the belt. Yep. Okay, love that. Let's get to the hand massager now. Okay, so I know we said we've been testing things for the last month. This yeah. has been since Christmas for me because oh. this little item, which is a heated hand massager, yeah. I bought as a gift for my husband, which was actually a gift for me because my husband loves a good hand massage and guess who is the hand massager in the house? You. Right, I always yeah. have to do it. So I gifted him the gift of me not having to rub his hands anymore <laughs> by using this hand massager. And let me tell you, my entire family fights over this. He uses this in the evening.
evening oh, after baby. work and saws logs within 60 seconds of this thing on Dylan's his hands. Dylan's living his best That's, life here. He's a I mean, good. he's on, right? And he also doesn't know that I filmed him sleeping and snoring. <laughs> but He'll be fine with it. So this, you can turn it on. There's three heat settings. There are three massage settings. So you can be as hot and as hard as you want it. And oh. <laughs> It's it turns me it yes. it, like it's it, it's melty. Like that is <laughs> so comfortable. I, I really wanted to buy two, and then yeah. I realized if I had two on my hands, like what do I? Yeah. How do I <laughs> turn but them you know off? What? It's almost oh, you can't turn you it can, off. Yeah, and you, you like, can't oh, get them off. Right. But it's almost good because it forces you to stop. Oh my yeah, gosh, it yes. does. Don't do anything. Just sit so there and amazing. be massaged. This for me, I know you're gonna ask, but I'm gonna tell you, this is a good buy. Yeah. It's a good <laughs> buy. It's like, hey, take my money. Take my money. Love. This was an Amazon goodie. This is amazing. Okay. All right. I love it. I want them for feet. Right? Oh, well, that's I what I need yes, to do. Make do. me a cocoon, strap me in my whole, Your whole body, body, just rub me up and tell <laughs> Yes. Give yes. me one. That's what I want. Okay, let's move on to our next item. Okay, air quality in our homes. So yes. we are dialed in to now that sometimes the air quality in our homes can be worse than the air quality out of our homes. Absolutely. Because we're all sealed up for efficiency of heating and cooling. Yeah. And But it also traps in some of the less than desirable things. So air purifiers are in a lot of homes nowadays. Mm -hmm. I love this one in particular from Dyson. It's the Dyson Purifier Hot Cold. Most importantly, this one in particular removes and destroys formaldehyde, which Ooh. is a very significant thing to mention because a lot of um, air purifiers don't do that. Yeah. Um, so I like it for that. But I love that it's a three-in-one. So okay. we're taking up less space. We're going to do a heating with this. We're going to do cooling, and we're going to do clean air. I have mine at the end of my bed, so if I'm a little warm, I turn it on cool, and if I'm a little hot, I turn it on. I'm like Goldilocks. Oh my gosh, I've that's turned amazing! It on. It's cool, and I know the whole time it's cleaning all the air, yes. and I know it works because <laughs> I was getting ready to go out with a bunch of girlfriends dancing, yeah. and I got ready, sprayed my hair with hairspray, walked past it. It's smart enabled, so it attaches to your phone, and it, normally this is what it looks like when it's good. Okay. And when I walked past with fresh hairspray it immediately picked up the fact that it was like whoa 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 there are some VOCs happening here there's something suddenly non-toxic in your room what is it I mean it turned out to be me but, yes. when, but I look cute I look yes, so yes, cute so yeah. toxic yeah. so toxic but I was like ooh cute. love that this like I really saw it that it worked well I'm I'm assuming yeah is goodbye or goodbye it is a good buy good buy yeah, for sure, for sure. Says, that's yeah. a good buy I love that Okay, we're gonna talk all about uh, this last, we're gonna talk about saunas. A sauna tent. Sauna tent. So these have been tent. everywhere yeah. on my social media feed. Yeah. And I was totally influenced to try it. But I'm going to tell you right now, I had already decided in my mind that this was a goodbye. I just thought yeah. it's kind of weird having this giant steam cave in my house and yeah. like moisture and mold. And yeah. my brain started like ticking away. So this big tent comes in this little pouch uh -huh. and also comes with this little steam kind of uh, contraption. Finger, finger majigger. Yes, yeah. exactly. That creates this. <laughs> steam and it, it literally quite literally explodes and pops up within like five minutes I had okay. everything hooked up this okay. filled with water a little tube that comes with it this guy set up plugged it in and I was quite honestly thinking to myself eh, I'll get in it for like 60 seconds just to give it a little try yeah and I opened it and like the steamy goodness that was coming from this <gasps> And I thought, I'll sit Ooh. in it for like just a minute. That's a lot of steam. And in like there. 45 minutes later, I was like, this is a good buy. <laughs> oh, I loved it. You loved like, honestly, it. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, I goodbye. love it. You love it. Bye. <laughs> so you can have a little uh, sauna in your home. In your home. And it works. Like she's gone. I don't know if she's coming back out or not. No, this I is love beautiful. This. <laughs> LA and Shona, thank you so much for this. All of these items we are going to link you to. So you'll see a QR code on the screen right now. You lift up your phone and we will link you to these products and you can decide if you want to try them or not. But we appreciate you for testing them. Thanks to both of you for that. We're going to be back with more fun after the break. Stay with us, everyone. Coming up, eclectic design can be challenging. People do tend to want a bit of a rule. And this isn't a style for rules, but yeah, I will say give us the rules. I'm gonna give you a look.
Welcome back, everyone. With so many of us shopping online and at big box stores, adding eclectic design to your space can be a little bit challenging. Like, we want to mix it up a little bit and make your space look like you with some personality. So we've got Sharon Greg here to help us out. Thank you for that. Start by defining for us what eclectic is, because a lot of folks mm -hmm. think eclectic is just throwing everything at the wall and <laughs> making it all work together, but often it does not work, No, right? it's not magic. It's not magic. <laughs> but, I mean, to me, it's more of an approach to design as opposed mm -hmm. to more of a formal style. So I think absolutely it is about bringing your personality to your space, which we all want to do. It's about mixing all of your favorite design eras. So you want to mix different furniture styles from different yes. periods. You want to mix some old the new it's also about contrast so mm -hmm. whether that's lots of pattern mixing pattern adding color but I think like you said it's it's not just about everything goes there is some intention you want it to look like there's some intention you want it to feel harmonious that's right. Okay, so if we want it to feel harmonious, <laughs> where do we start? How do we do this? All right, so I think with any, when you're designing any room, it's always a good idea to start with the big pieces. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we want to break up those matching sets. So I yeah. absolutely love the Morabo from Ikea. I've used this furniture in different colors many different times. <laughs> yeah. But what I didn't do is get the matching side chair that is in right. the same fabric. I didn't do that. This is your opportunity to bring in a different material. So yeah. I love leather. In my own house, my side chair is leather. Um, you might want to bring in rattan. Mm -hmm. In this case, I fell in love with this beautiful spindle chair. Nice. So it's painted wood. So it has a very different feel. It's a different material. So again, I've broken up the set. You could add something else into the space for sure. But then it's also about, you know, mixing up the patterns. I think pattern is a really key part of this look. And I yeah. think... More than just mixing in patterns, you want to think about the scale of patterns. Okay. So again, it's like design principles, scale. So I've got big pattern on the carpet, on yep. the rug. This is a great place, especially if you're a little nervous about going eclectic, but you want to do it. Put mm -hmm. your pattern on the floor because you, it's not in your face. So you don't yeah. see it. It just sort of sets the tone. But it's got a nice stripey effect. And then I've mixed it with a big print on the wall. That's nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah. It's floral. So we're mixing stripes. We're mixing floral. Right. And then you've got your big patterns. But then the small ones are always really easy when it comes to throwing cushions around. They're not matching. No, they're not. Right? They're not matching. I've got some floral. Animal print. Bring in your animal print, people. Bring in whatever patterns you like. You might like plaid. You might yeah. like needlepoint. I think it's really about... Um, mixing them in, but also I like to suggest keeping some solids just so you have some breathing room for all of those patterns. You need somewhere for your eyes to stop and hang out, right? Exactly. To rest a little bit. Absolutely. So uh, when I see all of these different patterns all together, for me, it doesn't read busy. It reads comfy. Yes, like have absolutely. a seat. And Let's you know get comfy. What? It's because of the color too, Trace. Is that what it is? It's color. scale. It's color. So let's talk a little bit about color because a lot of people think eclectic and they think bold color. Yeah, absolutely. Does it have to be bold no, color? I mean, you have bold color. I do. Right I <laughs> I love it. You match the floral yeah. arrangement. It's fantastic. But again, it doesn't have to be everything bold. Yeah. You know, I think it's about experimenting with color and being a little not afraid of color. Right. But people do tend to want a bit of a rule, and this isn't a style for rules but yeah, i will say give us the rules i'm going to give you a rule okay <laughs> if you keep it within three to four colors it's going to be more harmonious so i actually used four colors here trace i've okay. got green so i've got various shades of green mm -hmm. i've got a few different pinks i've got a neutral blonde wood tone so i've got that in a few places and remember that your wood is a color it is. okay remember that as a color yeah and then i've got a pop of red yeah so okay. it's, it's bringing in color, but it's not going crazy. But the easy thing to do would be to put ballet white on the wall, which I love, by the way. Ballet yes. white's fine. But instead, this was an opportunity to bring, for me to go outside of my comfort zone and right. do a pink wall. Yeah, right? and it looks great. Doesn't it look great? I think it's nice, yeah. It, it's, it kinda, it's a complimentary color. So it, it's teacup rose, and I just I haven't teacup had an opportunity rose. to use it. So this is it. Today was the day. Yes. Now, I noticed there's all these beautiful little touches, and they look vintage. They look antique. Like, talk to us about that element within an eclectic yeah. space. Yeah, and you know what? I'm going to get up because I'm touching yeah. feelings. So when it comes to, um, we've got everything basically Ikea. The base foundation pieces of Ikea. But yeah. I wanted it to feel more authentic. So I stripped a, a beautiful vintage nightstand, nice. right, for my stylist home. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> is here. Thanks, Diane. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that has a nice patina to it, yep. and we've mixed it with the sort of rounded, clean style of the coffee table, but the color keeps it going. Very nice. Okay, all of the pieces work seamlessly together. I love that we're moving to a place where we're having more personality in our spaces. You will remember the 90s, we were all doing Hotel Chic. It was a lot of grayish, it was a lot of espresso. So now we're having fun with color. Yeah. Thank you so much for that, Sharon. And Sharon actually wants to, us all to add a bit of color into our lives. So you're all gonna take home a Benjamin Moore gift card for a gallon of paint that's valued Ooh. at $125. <laughs> Enjoy that. And there's more. So all week I've been talking about this. We are, we have some exciting news to share, but I want LA in here. As soon as I saw this pillow, right? I thought of Leanne. Screaming my name. I love screaming it. Screaming Leanne LR Pro. So you both are going to be joining me at the National Home Show because we are doing City Line Day. Yes, we this are. This Saturday, a whole day of City Line, which makes perfect sense at the Home Show because we've been doing decor before the specialty channels were. So it makes sense. Um, what are we going to do? What are you going to do? Well, what I'm talking we about show? DIY versus buy, and I'm actually yeah. going to be taking attendees behind the scenes of some projects that I've shared here on City Line Love because that. we take these beautiful projects and we cram them into only a few minutes. Yes. I've got the luxury of time. We're going to talk turkey. <laughs> We're going to talk paint. Yes. We're going to talk dollars, actual real dollars, Good. and how to actually get the look for less in your own home. Oh, I love that. And Cher? Awesome. I'm going to do a panel with Frankie. We're yes. going to answer your questions. So bring your decor questions, bring your yes. color questions, and we will be there to answer them. Yeah, bring everything, uh, everything you've ever wanted everything. to know and talk about. But bring the kitchen sink. Exactly. Us. Bring, bring it, it all. all. <laughs> We're That's ready for all it. all happening Saturday, uh, March 9th, and I actually hope that you will all join us at the National Home Show for City Line Day. You can see me, Sharon, L.A., Julia, Grieve and Frankie, as well as a bunch of other incredible experts all day long. That's happening at the Entercare Center. That's at the X. So if you're watching this and you want to come, we've got a discount code with City Line to get $5 off your ticket. And for all of these viewers in the audience today, guess what you're getting? A pair of tickets for free. Of course you are. Come and join us and hang out with us. For now, though, we're taking a quick break. More home day coming up. Transforming your furniture with no help required. Is it a two-person job? Did the girls help you? Did Jason help you? No. Oh, I never oh, mind. mind. She's super <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. So we're going to dive into the age-old debate. Do you recover or do you reupholster? Uh, whether you're aiming for a fresh look or preserving sentimental furniture, we are here to help you transform your space with our DIY expert, Monique Taylor Yu Shu. Yeah. Hello, 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 gorgeous. So, um, why don't you break down the difference between reupholstering and recovering furniture? Okay. So, starting with reupholstering, that's where you have your piece of furniture, or whatever item you wanted to work with, yeah. and you're actually stripping it down. You're taking the old fabric off. Yeah. You, there may be a sponge and tide, so we're using a chair, a chair cushion here, so a chair seat rather. Yeah. So you want to strip that out, see if the sponge is okay. If not, you're going to replace that. Okay. There's also, if you want to turn that over, you can't see it through here, but there's wood under here. Right. So depending on the condition of that, you may replace that as well. Okay. And you're essentially creating like a net new, right? It's like it's new. Right. It's like you're taking like it down to the studs, yes. like exactly. if it were a house. Okay. Exactly. And so then what you would do is you would take the wood. Uh, pattern, if you will, and then yep. trace it out on your foam. You get a new piece of foam. This is about two inches thick. Okay, so you um, would put this on here. Right, exactly. Trace it. Use a pa fabric pen. Yep. And then use some type of blade uh, and cut it out. Yep. Get your fabric of choice and uh, reupholster it. Okay, reupholster yeah. it. And I guess, are you even checking to see if that wood's okay? Would you yes. ever? Have, you or you might have to put you in may new have to all of that. It, yeah. It's a lot of work. It is. It okay, is, is what is definitely. recovering? Recovering is much more simple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and it, even for me, I like I like I like changing things, but I yes. don't want to revert. Right. So with the recovering, <laughs> you could just put the fabric on. You don't even have to replace anything. Put it over. Stay, yeah, and then you're good to go. And you're it's good like, to go. Yeah. And we're actually going to um, we're gonna show you a little bit of that. But first yeah. of all, when would you go pro mm -hmm. and when would you go DIY? So I would suggest on pieces like club chairs, yes. ottomans, 
sofas. Yes. Those things, especially with tufts. Yes. Because they're much more complex. Any of the tufting, like, oh, yes. you see right now in this video, yes. or any of the um, piping. Right. That yes. stuff is hard as well. Oh, yeah. Right? It's best to leave it to the professional. And as you mentioned as well, if it's a sentimental piece, yes. you don't want to mess with that. That's right. Leave it to the professional. Fair. Yeah. Okay. So um, let's talk a little bit about what the steps we need to take to recover. Right. Okay. So these are actually my own dining chairs from home. You did this? Yes. Okay, we, so let's yes. show them the before is yes. over there. Yes. And I think most people know these chairs because yes. they're in your dining room. <laughs> <laughs> they're in my parents' dining room yes. right now. Um, so yes. you wanted to give them a little zhuzh. I wanted to give them a little zhuzh, kind yeah. of elevate it a little bit. Yeah. And so what you do, you, the beauty about these chairs, they can just unscrew off. So I just took the screws oh, just off. Take them right yeah, off. you can use a screwdriver or you can use a power one like I have here. Mm -hmm. Lift the seat off. Yep. And then you get your fabric of choice. So I'm gonna just move this so I'm out of the way. Yeah. Um, when you're choosing a fabric, it's great to choose something that is light, something that's a bit stretchy. So I've gone with this velvet. I had this extra velvet at home this from some projects that I was now. working on. Right? It just yeah. has a beautiful feeling to it. I would avoid fabrics like vinyl or leather, okay. not as stretchy, yeah. not easily foldable. Mm -hmm. Again, if you want to do that, go to the professional. Right. But we're just recovering simply right now, so we're going to stick with the velvet. Do we care about something that's easy to clean? Yes, and of course, you know, we have the girls as well, so we want to make sure that it's something that is somewhat durable. Yes. Um, not only just looks good, but it's also practical as well. So I also suggest you maybe looking at like an eco-friendly fabric spray yes. to help protect it so that, you know, the wear and tear. And if it gets too worn, then I'll... Just take it off. Just take it off and do it again. <laughs> yes. Okay, how did you do it? Okay, so first I got my fabric. So I would say it would be about um, a half a yard per seat. Okay. Okay, give or take. And so you go ahead and you cut that. You put in the seat on the fabric and okay. then you just kind of measure it out and then you cut it out. You can use a measuring tape if you like, but I really just put the seat there. And I was like, you know what, let me Give it a little seat. bit of give right. on the And then sides. I just cut it out. Okay. Okay, so we've done that. So we have it laid out here. I'm actually gonna twist this around. Because you, you know, we don't have a complete square. Right. So it's a little bit, so I've angled the cut a little bit. So I'm just gonna plug it here in the middle. Perfect. And here's the beauty of it. You just have to, we'll do the size first actually. Mm -hmm. So you're just gonna go ahead and fold it over. So you see there's already staples here. Mm -hmm. um, These are the staples. Yeah, the older staples. Right I'm gonna be quick and dirty and just go. Yeah, for Over sure. top, right? Why not? Yeah, just go and ahead. And are we making it sort of taut? Uh, yes. Pull so you want to pull. Bit. You want to pull it after we can cut the excess trim. Yeah. And you're going to take a staple gun. A, a simple one that's used for upholstery is fine. And you're literally just going to staple in there. Is it a two-person job? Did the girls help you? Did Jason help you? No. I oh, never oh, mind. She's superwoman. <laughs> <laughs> she can do it on her own. <laughs> and then, yeah, we just keep on stretching there. Mm -hmm. Boom. And boom. I love okay. any project that involves a staple gun. <laughs> it's just there's something about right? it. Like, I don't have to sew. Right, you're there's good. There's no power tools. I, I like that. Fun, right? And I then do the corner. So we're going to do the corner. And this is very much like wrapping a present. Okay? Oh, so that's fun. If you don't like wrapping presents, then I, I like I, wrapping I, presents. Okay, good. Yeah. So, so what you want to do when you want to get these corners, you wanna, I'm just going to pull this a little bit closer sure. to me. You're just going to go ahead and just pull this over like so. And then you want to get more of a flush look. So I'm going to keep on playing around and pulling until I can get like a flush fold here. That's so if you perfect. can see that here. Yep. And then you can pull. I'll turn that around so we can get a better view. Yeah, that's nice. Like that, right? And then you go ahead again with your staple gun and you just staple down. Very and nice. And you just keep on doing that all around. Repeat it with the other chairs until yeah. it's complete. And then we have our final look. So take a look at this gorgeous chair. All Mo did was recover the, the seat and it looks stunning. This looks like the sort of thing that you're going to pay good money for if exactly. you go into a department store. Um, really well done. Thank, Thank you. you for that, Mo. We're going to break. We'll have more coming up. Stay with us. Coming up, L.A. and Shona are back for the Internet Made Me Try It Beauty Edition. You know, sometimes you're scrolling and you stop dead in your tracks and think, gosh, I have to have that. And then you buy and you go, why?
uh, with Shona and Leanne, what could that mean? It means it's another installment of the internet made me buy it. Foodie edition. So you two are just trolling the internet all the time. <laughs> looking around. No life, just internet trolling. Yeah, just yeah. internet trolling. Yeah. Um, so what, what's the first product you want to talk about okay. that you bought? Okay. I, I got just absorbed by Lee Valley's stuff. Okay, you know, I love okay. Lee Valley. That's such a great They've store. They've got great things. And so I grabbed a few things from them. This is a pitter. Now, okay. I, we eat a ton of cherries and a ton of olives in our house. Okay. And yeah, so this got my attention. I yeah. was like, hello, there's nothing worse than taking the pits out of both of those Hate slowly it. one by one. Yeah. Which I have an uh, individual one. But when I found this one that does the multi pitting, pitting you put your cherries, or, or in this case, the olives, into yeah. the little holes. All you... Sorry. Yeah, I almost got your <laughs> finger. Something. I almost pitted your I fingernail know. there. Just push down. Now, of course, because this is going to give me a hassle. And did you see oh, that... Oh, yeah, they pop it, right out. The, the pits are in the bottom. Didn't take two of them with it. The so pits are in the little tray that. here. They come came right out. Came out of the olives there. there they and are. And then the full olives or cherries, totally intact, Ooh. fall to the bottom. Okay. And so, whether you're putting them in a salad or a pie or whatever, just eating them, they still look cute. They don't They're get all smushed. smushed. Yes. And all the pits come out of them so you're not yes. going to hurt your tooth. I love it. It was so quick and so Good. efficient. Oh, oh, I they just it. need to make it bigger. Now, then you can yeah, put all, do all the like olives in. A dozen, dozen at a time. time. A dozen at a time. Yes. That'll be their next version, maybe, yeah. What's your, what did the internet make you buy? Well, you know, sometimes you're scrolling and you stop dead in your tracks and think, gosh, I have to have that. And then you buy it and you go, why? <laughs> but I actually do love this. So I saw this is a cute little pickle jar. I picked it up on Amazon. Yeah, it's cute. But here's the cute factor. It works like an hourglass. Mm -hmm. So when you want to take your pickles out, all of the brine drains Whoa. down to the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Right? And then you put it back in the fridge and yes. whip it in. I like this. It's a little thing. Yes. A big thing. I have to say, it's always a little thing. I grab this too, and I let, use it for beets, pickled beets, because yes. the liquid's all red and stained your fingers. Yes. Don't like that. Yeah. Oh, very good. Okay, next up, okay, Jones. Many people might be familiar with a mandolin. Yes. Right? But And I've got one, but I never use it because they're always so big and you have to set them up and they have legs and they're scary looking, etc. Yeah. <laughs> when I saw this mandolin, I was like, oh, yes, please to this. Yeah. Because it's so simple to grab this. It's basically grabbing a knife out of the drawer. Yep. And all you, as you can see, grab it, grab whatever your vegetable is or whatever you it is that you want to do, slide it through, and you get thin, thin slices, yeah, that's much I thinner that. than I can get at Very even nice. with a knife. Yeah. And this one I like better because it's so easy to grab, it's so easy to use, it comes with a finger protector if you're getting down to the nitty gritty. Yeah. And it's, I'm going to toss it in the dishwasher. I don't see, have to be precious with it. I'm that. not scared love of, that. yeah, I'm not scared of cutting my fingers and all those things. I love that. I loved it. Your veggies taste better when they come out of a mandolin. They do. They I do. don't know why. They're just, they're pretty and now I want to eat them. And they're perfectly cooked because they're all the same width. Perfect. Yeah. L.A., what Next. do you got? Well, you know, I've been called a pot stirrer a couple times in my life, so I figured, why not try an electric one? And this is one of those things also that I was like, do I need it, but can I afford not to buy it? Because look at what's happening here. So, this little guy, when would you use this, my friend? Okay, I have squirrel syndrome, uh -huh. so I'll put something on the stove what? and then go, woo, 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 off oh. to something else. Shiny. And forget what I'm doing, and then my risotto is a little burn zotto right in the bottom of the pot <laughs> right so right, right. this i think is kind of fun and great yeah it also can work on like really tall pots as well and then all you that gets messy is the little stir wackadoodle that you throw in the dishwasher oh, afterwards awesome. okay so how often do you think you're going to use that in like year? probably once yeah. on instagram <laughs> so i can influence other people i have to say this gadget for me isn't absolutely not <laughs> she thinks i'm crazy um, but I Come do. On, it's not that bad, I right? Somebody loves that. <laughs> Somebody might. Somebody might love that. I do respect that it like really does scrape the bottom, so it's going to stir well. It's doing. I like got to get the problem. It's, it's yeah. stirring the, the pot. It's stirring yeah. the pot, yes. girl. Okay, what do you got for us? Okay, so uh, riced veggies, cauliflower rice, mm -hmm. broccoli rice, etc. Very popular right now. Yes. I put, I really, really love it. I like yeah. rice too, but sometimes you just want to find another spot for veg. Totally. But to buy the pre-made cauliflower rice 
or any of them. Expensive. Oh, it's so expensive. It's groceries yeah. are all, we all know the groceries are expensive right now. Yeah. But there's something about it that's so wildly expensive. Mm -hmm. Well, walk in this gadget. This also from uh, Lee Valley. Mm -hmm. All you do is toss in uncooked, raw yeah, um, cauliflower heads or broccoli heads or whatever you want. Okay. Put the lid on it and just grind it or twist it, turn it in a circle, whatever's good for you. Yeah. And we'll come out perfectly Ooh. riced. Oh, vegetable, cauliflower, whatever it is that you're doing. And it's in there raw. It goes in raw Not because steamed. if you put it in cooked, it'll be too soft. My it won't body. rice. Yeah, yeah. Raw. And then you cook it, fry pan, steam it, whatever it is, throw it into some pasta, throw it into your mac and cheese, whatever Beautiful. you want. Yeah, hide it from the kids. Love that. Yeah, I love that. Okay, <laughs> yeah. last things okay. last. Last but not least. You made all your leftovers. You got your pickles. Maybe not pickles. You got your cauliflower. You've got all your things and leftovers in the fridge the next day that you're ready to take to work. Yes. So if you work remotely uh, at an office situation where mm. maybe there's no microwave and you're going out and spending a lot of money on lunch, yeah. instead you are going to get yourself this little lunch box that comes with a mini stove. Ooh, that essentially oh. can heat up. You can see the condensation in here. You can put in your leftovers cold from the fridge in the morning. Yeah. You take this to your desk, you plug it in. It also comes with a car adapter. So if Ooh. you're traveling or on the road, road and trip. you have a heated lunch ready to go. I think that this is brilliant. Yeah, yeah. love That's this. That's pretty awesome. awesome. I love yes. this. That is pretty awesome. Love, love, love. You know, you can get direct links to all of these products by scanning that QR code on our screen right now. And I know that you're going to want some of them, especially the pot, pot stir. stir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> Very well done. Thank you for shopping on our behalf. You want to upgrade your snack game with a convenient and healthy treat? Keen No Bake Energy Bite Mix allows you to quickly prepare and create your own customizable energy bites using the highest quality ingredients. Everyone in our audience will take home Keen's No Bake Energy Bite Mix. Try it. You'll like it. Yum. We're going to go to break. We got more coming up. Stay with us. It's so good. I love it. Coming up. Vanderpump Rules, Tom Schwartz makes a game-changing cocktail. It's glorious, honestly. There's life before my first Pumptini and life after. Welcome back, everyone. The Emmy Award-nominated series Vanderpump Rules is back for its 11th season, and in honor of its return, Tom Schwartz stopped by our studio to show us how to make the infamous Pumptini. Hi, I'm Tom Schwartz. We're here at City Line, and today we are going to make an iconic drink, the Pumptini. Before we get started, let me tell you what we need, okay? First of all, the good stuff, a little vodka, okay? We need fresh lime juice, it makes all the difference in the world. A little grapefruit juice, we got simple syrup, easy on the simple syrup, the sweet drinks are out. Okay, we got limes, raspberries, we're gonna muddle those. Oh my God, I'm a bartender. I still got it. Take three raspberries, we're gonna take three quarters of an ounce simple syrup, I'm gonna eyeball it. Bartending long enough to eyeball it. He's bartending here? Oh my god! Get your work in! Work in! Work in! I'm a little rusty! And this is your muddler. This one is actually a little short. I'm not gonna scrape my knuckles, but yeah. It's not so bad actually. Muddling's not that bad. But it's just like, you know what? When there's like 15 people in line at the bar, they're getting frustrated and impatient. And someone comes up there and like, can I get six mojitos and four pumptinis and like a dirty martini and do you have anything not too sweet? You're just like, dude, come on, man. Anyways, all right, we muddled. Let's see. And now we're gonna answer some questions. What moment are you grateful the cameras were around to capture over the last decade of Vanderpump Rules? Okay, I know it didn't have a happy ending, but probably my wedding. Katie and Tom, it is with a full heart and much pride and love that I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Not that I'm like trying to relive that. We're happily separated, you know, we're in a good place. But anyways, that was a magic moment for me, you know? And uh, I'm very fond of that. Step two, we're gonna add some fresh juice. Fresh makes all the difference. I'm sure you've heard this, but uh, it's gospel. It really does. It makes a difference if you squeeze it the day of, too. Um, it's just more vibrant and tart and delicious. All right, we'll use the for this. 
a little lime juice, a little grapefruit juice, bada bing, bada boom, forget about it. Um, all right, I'm gonna answer another question now. You confessed to kissing Sheena in Vegas, but she's denied it. Does what happened in Vegas stay in Vegas? Um, if you're on reality TV, no, it doesn't. It does not stay in Vegas. Orange liqueur, three ounces of orange liqueur. All right, we're gonna do a little vodka. Shout out to Crazy Monkey. 10 times distilled and delicious. Let's go. All right, bada bing. A little extra. It was a rough night last night, you know. Don't hair the dog. All right, before we shake that up, I'm gonna answer another question. Let's go. Vanderbilt Rules spin off, The Valley is coming. Will you or any other VPR cast members make a cameo? I gotta say, I'm really excited to see Jax Taylor back on television. And Dodie, and Brittany. Um, I love those guys, and uh, I'm happy to say that I will make a few cameos. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a doozy. It's gonna be a doozy. All right, we're gonna shake it up. My first ever pumpini. Oh, it's glorious, honestly. There's life before my first pumpini and life after, and um, my God, I feel enlightened. To get the full recipe, head over to cityline.tv, and uh, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> they do look pretty good. Oh, cheers! cheers. Very good. Now, we had a little conversation. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. they're very good. Oh, they're, oh, they're very strong. Woo Hair Tom back. Schwartz. Ooh, these are boozy. Mm. The new season of Vanderpump Rules uh, streaming Tuesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern on Hey You in Canada. But what I really want to talk about is you. <laughs> I want to talk about you because LA is the whole reason we are doing this. Stop you have it. an obsession with Tom and Vanderpump Rules. Okay, obsession might be a strong word. I however, don't think so. <laughs> because I don't want to imply that perfect. like I'm obsessed with Tom. Okay, I fair. am obsessed with this cultural moment that this show has become. Yes. It is just so fascinating to me. It's almost like this like psychology study, like test case of yeah. like uh, the cesspool of humanity in yes. this one show. And I find it riveting. Mm. It is absolutely a guilty pleasure and I am not feeling one bit guilty about it. Okay. I love this show so much to the point that you and I went to California last year. You sure did. We had such a good time, but I may have booked my flight a few days early uh -huh. with the intention <laughs> of going to Schwartz and Sandy's, to their bar. And that was kind of the sole <laughs> intention. My family did not know this, right. but we landed on the plane. We had had a long day. Uh, we went to a grocery store. The next day in my mind, I was like, oh, I'll just happen to stumble upon Schwartz and Sandy's and take them there for lunch because I've got two teenage boys. I was like, I don't know if the nightlife, it will, that they'll let them in. Right. Uh, so we go to a grocery store. We've been traveling almost 24 hours at this point, still awake. Yes. Go to a grocery store. I look across the parking lot and there's Schwartz and Sandy's and I ran and they let the boys in. We had a strawberry Schwartz cake. We waited because Schwartz was supposed to be coming by and my husband fell asleep on my shoulder so we had to leave. Oh but my gosh! Was, I, was in, <laughs> I was in reality TV heaven. I love this. Uh, I want to hear all about it during the commercial break. We're going to break right now. Stay with us, everybody. Wow. to our experts. Thank you, Sharon, Shona, LA, and Mo for all of the great uh, conversation. Thank you to whoever made this for us. <laughs>